Hello, welcome to Art with Kendra. Today I'm going to do a quick drawing of a cone snail using marker and colored pencil. All right, I'm gonna to try to do a speed drawing of this uh, cone snail, which is apparently a super deadly snail that uh, I hope I never run into. I'm just gonna draw what I see uh, because this is basically an alien to me. So right now I'm kind of focusing on shape, a little bit of undertone there, some green on the top. I do not know what we have going on here. Oh my goodness. Some weird shape here and I think it tucks down into there. I don't know, there's something, something weird going on there. Got a bit of a shadow here, a little bit of a shadow here. So I'm just gonna in, put all that stuff in there. Here's what I'm assuming is, oh, I think that's the mouth and this is the harpoon. I just to go up a little bit more and then we have an eye here and it looks like there's an eye there all right so now I'm gonna go in uh, let me switch over to maybe this darker color here I'm just trying to drop in maybe a little bit of the more intense kind of shadowy tones This part right here is probably the most interesting to me. There we go. The shell is quite bright, so I'm not going to go in too much there. There is kind of some pigment. I'm going to start to add that in. Little bits and pieces of almost... It's a little too orange. I'm going to try to add in maybe some pink just to kind of soften that orange. kind of neutralized it a bit. This is actually quite pink here. A little bit there. And then this is quite pink here. Almost looks like a tongue. But I know it's the muscle. Oh, I see the flap is going up there. All right, all right, all right, okay. So now we have a lot of different textures here. I'm just gonna, gonna spot some of them in. I'm trying not to get too detailed, but it's tricky because this is basically all detail here. And then we have some dark areas down in here. Okay, I'm finally able to see what's happening here. So this is like a lip here. So I'm gonna define this shape just a little bit more here now that I can, now that I've spent enough time looking at it to really see what's going on here. This again is very dark. I'm just using a gray here. It's going to look black because um, there's not a ton of contrast at the moment. Here we go. And this gets quite dark. I'm going to define my shape here just a little bit too. Add a little bit down in there. And I think I'm going to use this to, oops, I hear my kids, so I'm going to have to pause the video and just make sure that they're doing okay here. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have to go pause, and then I'll pick up where I left off. All right, I'm back, and everything's okay. It's like a pinky orange color here. It's not quite orange. I'm going to throw some orange in. It's not right, but yeah, I feel like just need to, it's a little bit of an undertone anyway. And then we almost have, I wish I had a, oh, this might work. Actually, this one's perfect. So this is like a nice deep pink. This will be really good for this area here. A little texture, so I'm just going to kind of scribble it in. I think this will kind of be good for in here as well. The texture is tricky. 
All right, I do wanna to start to move into my um, colored pencil here, but I feel like I actually need more green, believe it or not. It's just a strange color to want in your snail, but I'm not sure if this is maybe reflective light or maybe it's a little bit of like, you know, kind of a mossy buildup. I'm not too sure, but there's definitely some green in there. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my colored pencil. Now I'd like to start with white. So I'm gonna do that right away here. And again, there's like little textures and stuff like that. There we go. So the white's gonna help everything pop. Be a little more careful here. This is, this is to me is the, where the interesting part of this really is. There we go. Some folds, I wanna kinda of try to accentuate those. And then in here we have our interesting tube. There we go. And this as well has a little bit of white in it. And we have those eyes that I kind of forgot about, but they're in there in the shadow. And then they have a shape here as well, whatever that thing is. It's neat, like learning about different animals. Again, just adding, trying to add in these little shapes very quickly here. Be a challenging to do in a short amount of time. Okay, I could kind of use a green here. Oh, maybe this one. Yeah, this isn't bad. There's almost bright green on different spots here. I'm gonna add a little red in here. Like a nice pink color right there. And then at the tip of this, it's quite red. It's gonna be much more red than that. This is much more red. There we go. That feels a little bit better. A little bit in here. One of the challenges of speed drawing is just getting everything organized. I don't know what colors I'm going to need till I'm in the moment. All right, ambiguous light source. I'm going to kind of drop in a bit of a highlight here. I feel like the light should be coming from the top. I'm just going to do a little bit of a highlight there. I'm gonna turn it. There we go. One thing I didn't do was add in a shadow, and I probably should. And where will my shadow be? So if it's going in that way, my shadow should be kind of here. Marker is needing a refill. Yeah, that one's fine. This is the lighter color than I wanted. But... So, let's have my shadow come in over here. This would be out, and then this would be kind of up. There we go. While I'm in here, I'm just going to redefine some shadow in this space. Okay, now some of these are a bit more yellow. Add some more yellow kind of shapes in here. My final step, I think, will be to um, to add some outlines here, just to kind of help define what's going on. It's pretty hard to see. Let's see some yellow in here. I'm just gonna pull some yellow. Maybe a more aggressive yellow, even. Oh, that's a nice color as well. All right, so. And this thing right here is like the brightest bright red. Maybe I'll use a marker. Yeah, that marker is working good. I'll add a little bit of red in here as well. Red makes it look more dangerous, and it really is <laughs> kind of a dangerous animal. So maybe it's okay to kind of lean into that a little bit. And I'm going to start to add in black. Actually, I want a dark brown. All right, dark brown. Now you are going to give me a lot of these kind of, oops, pressed a bit too hard there, textures.
Ooh, this pencil is just crumbling on me. I guess it dried somehow. So this is black. This is going to help to define my shapes a little bit. Don't want to be overly outliney, but I think there is a few situations here where I could use a little outline. And I'm pretty sure these are eyes, so I'm just going to add in these little little spaces there for eyes. There, kind of weird looking, weird looking thing there. This is going to have a little bit of a shadow area. Okay, I mean, that's decent. I don't want to go overboard here. I feel like my texture is lacking a little bit. Maybe I can use this purple color. Might be okay. Nice and sharp and see if I can add a bit of texture here. That's breaking as well. Good, good. Don't mind the purple though. A little different, but that's okay. Now I'm doing detail, which is not a good idea for a speed-oriented drawing. I'm just going to embellish that a little bit there. I just really want these whites to pop. And I'm going to lean into the darkness of this, this area. This shadow needs to be darker. Now this is arguably too dark. So I'll try to quickly soften it with that really light gray again. Um, what is this one? This is neutral gray three. That should be okay. If I can't go in and soften that shadow just a little bit. There, that's better. I think I'm done. To see more artwork, you can visit me on Instagram at creations underscore by underscore Kendra, or you can go to Facebook at creations by Kendra. Please reach out if you have any questions. Thanks so much.